What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Do another cons of Tarkir. Cons expanded Phantom Cuberino. And uh, what's our pick here? I prefer video games where we defeat Nazis in the arena of the mind by debating them rationally. <laughs> I uh, when I play video games, I like it when my Nazis uh, are able to express themselves openly thanks to the freedom of speech. Uh, I don't think it's nice of you to uh, to restrict the speech of the Nazis. Uh, what are we taking here? I have no idea. Breeding pool? It's got a breeding pool, right? Hollowed fountain? Fireman? I'm just gonna take the hollowed fountain, guys. I didn't know what to do. I panicked. I took a hollowed fountain. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do. Um. <clears throat> Ojitai? I don't know. I guess Ojitai could be good, right? Oh, hold on one second. Let me go another thing. Hold on there for a second. I don't know what to take here either. I guess it could. Ojitai goes with our first pick. Well, I don't think we're going to be. Uh, I don't think we're going to be heralding here. This pack's pretty weak, unfortunately. Oh, hypersonic dragon. You said go dragons. Looks like it's going pretty well. Alternatively, we can take thousand wins, which keeps us on color, but I do like going dragons. Also, haste is pretty nuts. I want to take the hasty dude. Also, a Jeskai is one of the few color combinations we have not tried yet, so I'm okay with that. <sighs> Response could be pretty game-winning. I mean, I think it's probably better than repeating Barrage, right? Because even if we're not red, we can still play the Response half. It deals 5 damage, and giving ourselves a second combat phase when we got a bunch of fat dragon idiots is pretty, pretty busted. Could take Outpost, which is a white and a red land, which is nice. Could take Seeker of the Way. They express themselves plain like when you shoot them, they say, my, mein Lieben. <laughs> we could also just take Butcher. And be four color flyers. Maybe the Nomad. Actually, we'll take Nomad Outpost here. And maybe the Butcher comes back. Uh, Battlefield Forge seems better than storm chaser mage i think oh temple of silence interesting interesting arc lightning is nice destroy blocking creature like this ride down is very very good removal they do have to block right but temple of silence could be good if we want the butcher to come back but we don't i don't think we want to bank on being mardu splashing Four. I don't think we want to, I don't think we want to bank on four color. I think it's Arc Lightning or Ride Down. <clears throat> I think we just go ride down here. Ride down seems fine. Actually, let's go Arc Lightning. Arc Lightning can kill a uh... Ooh, Burn Away is very good. Arc Lightning Arc Arc Lightning. Wow, this is talking is hard. Arc Lightning can kill uh a morph creature, which seems pretty relevant. Do we take Prime Elemental and hope that we get uh, Vesuvian Shapeshifter? That's probably better than just Exalt Angel, right? Also, skipping their untap step is pretty good. Pixadron. Yeah, this pack's poop still. I like Stubborn Denial. Stubborn Denial seems good. Uh, Silk Wrap seems pretty decent. Feet of Resistance is also nuts. Giving your creature protection and a 1-1 counter is pretty good. 
I'm gonna take the feet. <clears throat> Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may have it become a three-three. Scry one. Eh. Not super exciting, but I'll take it. Butcher came back. Oh, that's nice. Maybe. Maybe it's nice. <clears throat> Campaign seems too slow. Five mana for this is... It's a bit much. Tranquil Cove. Probably better than Concealed Courtyard, considering our main colors. <coughs> Can also take the utter end if we are serious about the black. Bran Elemental, if you want to let everyone down with the finale of your deck. I feel like Bran, Bran Elemental doesn't even deserve to be in the deck. He, he hasn't earned being in the deck in any way, interestingly enough. It's probably Tranquil Cove, right? Because we're not for sure playing this guy. Flame Slash is good. I think fixing our mana is just so important in this format, though. Bloodstained Mire. Oh, boy. Also Prismatic Vista. Wallado, what's going on, my dude? <clears throat> is it Vista or is it Bloodstained? It's got to be Vista, because we can get... This doesn't get much of our things. Vista seems great here. Temple of Epiphany and Sacred Foundry. Both of those are very, very good. Uh, probably Sacred Foundry. I'm just going to stock up on lands here unless I see something really, really eye-catching. I like Legion War Boss, but I'd rather just take a shock land here. Uh, Wing Beat Warrior. The Warrior. Bang, bang. I'm the wing beat warrior. Might just be Wee Dragonauts as like a, <clears throat> it's like a three drop. I don't know. This pack's pretty un, uh, unimpressive. Could be Core Sanctifiers just to have a thing to do. I like that. Crackling Drake. Flying Crane technique is pretty, pretty kooky. Yeah. This is in my, the, the deck I top the GP with. That was pretty impressive. Master of Pearls also pretty good. Solid as a 2-drop, solid as a 3-drop, solid as a flipped morph creature. Checks all the boxes. That's pretty okay. I like a Repulse. <clears throat> Probably more than I like a Mistfire Weaver. But Mistfire Weaver was a beating against us. Like, every time we try to kill something, they just float a misfire. I'm going to take that because of that. I also don't know if I care about Stonehorn Dignitary, really. <clears throat> this is like a two-drop, basically. I mean, it's not a two-drop, right? But, but, like, we can definitely spend two mana on turn two to kill a thing if we want to. Foundry Champion is not terrible. Dealing damage equal to the number of creatures you control is pretty good. Destroy creatures with power greater than... I, can, I always I have to read this every time, and I always like... So we can click on this, and it deals it destroys our creature with power greater than 2. Or greater than 3. I think we're just taking the Elite Scale Guard. No, Foundry Champion. I like Foundry Champion. Concealed Courtyard, you're fine. You're a land. 
Wow, look at all these black and white cards. Black, white, black, white, black. Disdainful Strokes that seems actually main deckable here. What a Paco. Doomfall's fine. I just don't want to... I'm going to... I'd rather restrict the number of, of black cards we have. Thankfully, the internet is working again today, so. This pack's pretty meh. Rage form, I guess? I don't know. Temple Garden? <coughs> Skin Thinner's great, but it's double black to flip, so. I'm not super about paying 8 mana for a. for a Bone Shredder that can't actually, uh, you know, do the thing. I'll just take the land just in case. Temple of Malice? Okay. I'm game. Uh, sure, none of these are impressive. Someone's getting a, a nice last pick, hardened scales. So I feel like this last pick has to has to go. Actually, Mantis Rider is great. This card was busted against us. We we're just like, well, I can't deal with this three three flyer. So Felix, what's going on, buddy? Uh. <laughs> Um, uh, um, it's not legendary, right? Good times. I feel like two hypersonic dragons with haste are, are, oh my god. Badger Mage, I'm passing to you this time, buddy. Yeah, I'm just going to take another Hypersonic Dragon. I think it's better than 1,000 wins. This means that we can cast them at Double Flash, so... I'm not huge on rage form here, but I think everything else is pretty playable. Maybe riddle form can go. Like, I just don't have that many spells. I guess we have nine spells. Actually, we do. But most of these are, like, responsive. Like, so I'm going to be like, oh, I'll counter your spell. And then my riddle form is a 3-3 on your turn, and it's just not, it's not really what I'm looking for. I do like a Quicksilver Dragon. With eight fixing lands so far. Yeah, it's likely going to go all the way around the table, so. <clears throat> hmm. All these other cards are green or terrible. This guy's all right. Also, Marsh Flats gets Hollow Fountain and Sacred Foundry, which is not nothing. And it gets Swamp, so it literally gets all of our colors if we needed to. I might just want the Marsh Flats. Boop. Well, unfortunately, we're not green, so Rhino's not really in our wheelhouse right now. Cast out's a great, a great answer though. So, draft Rhino anyway. Solid strategy. Uh, I also like Charter Course though. <clears throat> we have no real card draw here. I'm pretty okay with Charter Course actually. Demorley's fine too. Oh, uh, Jeskai Elder is pretty good. Hossmania, thank you so much, three somebody. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Yeah, Mortify is pretty good. I do like a Mortify. <clears throat> oh, Kaikar was actually a card I was hoping we would be able to pick up. That's pretty sweet. That's exciting. Snap that bad boy off. Oh, Sage of the Inward Eye is great, too. Jet Sky Charm, also pretty good. We only have 11 creatures, though, so I'm kind of <laughs> kind of wanting a, another creature. Still not on board for Riddle Form, though. Yeah, we'll Sage here. Caves of Koilos. I don't think we're that... I think we have literally one black card right now. I guess we have two. But we have, like, <clears throat> Marsh Flats, Prismatic Vista, Concealed Courtyard, Nomad Outpost, Temple, and, like, a Swamp. So we have, already have six sources of black for two black cards. Uh, I don't hate Mardu Heart Piercer. It deals two damage to any, any target if you have attacked this turn. It's pretty decent. I like a Tithe Taker. That actually sits well on the curve. Yeah, that's good. Oh, Thousand Winds came back? Oh, wow, we're definitely playing that. That's Oh, wow, Quicksilver Dragon came back? What is even happening? <coughs> okay. Oh, Cast Out came back. Okay, so we just got all of the cards we wanted. I think they got Rage Form. We'll board Core Sanctifiers in if we need them. Wow, that was... I'll take Brine Elemental out. It's great, but like we don't have the Vesuvian Shapeshifter, so it's one of the weaker morphs, morphs that we have. Eh, I'm not 100% on Mardo Heart Piercer either, so I'll take Death Grasp, sure. go you can go done deck is done and our mana base looks great and get rid of this temple garden we'll play one swamp perfect beautiful red sources we have one marsh flats gets sacred foundry so two three four five six this is eight red sources that seems perfect white we have three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven also good Blue, we have one, two. We can probably cut one just in case. We have a <clears throat> a little leeway here for another island. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six? This is. I think we want to go to <clears throat> at least eight. We have double blue, double blue. And then we can cut one of these. So now we have nine white sources and eight blue sources. So it's nine, eight. I think this is still eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so it's nine, eight, eight, and then like six, which is just great. That seems totally fine. And we can, these guys go over here. So that looks a little better. This guy goes here. Yeah, this deck looks good. I'm a fan. Cut frowns, you champion? Well, this guy's great. Maybe. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Is there something better we can put? I don't know. Maybe. Stonehorn Dignitary. Especially with Kaikar, because you're making 1-1s. One I think that guy's fine. Can see adding Sanctifiers. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. I like the versatility of Sanctifiers a lot, so...
All right, so Tranquil Cove. This is great because we can get... I don't think we can get a... I guess we can get a Swamp with this and get a Sacred Foundry with this. That seems good. Thank you. Josh, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Oh, I like a disdainful stroke. Yeah, I'm not going to chart a course here because you don't really need anything. <clears throat> we will get a sacred foundry here, though. Oh, biscuits. Well, I guess we're getting an island. So now we have two of everything except for red. One, two, three. Get him. Well, next time we can chart, of course. <clears throat> Ideally, we'll get a black source. This is two of our black sources. We only have four left in the deck. We also haven't drawn any black cards, so I'm not too concerned. Hey, stream participants. Oh, if it isn't Mean Mugger herself, the meanest of muggers, which is kind of a misnomer. Don't kill my Mantis Rider, just because I would be sad, because the, I got I got dealt like 14 damage from one Mantis Rider. <clears throat> so if they're just going to come up in my house and be like, Mantis Rider, kill it, and I'll be like, wow, that's messed up, because I had to work so hard for it. I'm gonna do the thing. I guess we're going to, well, yeah, we're gonna keep up. Uh... Oh, we're still in combat, so it's a good thing I didn't. Oh, that's, well, that's beautiful. That's just gorgeous. I would like another land. That would be nice. Huh. <clears throat> Crater's Claws. Well, no way, buddy. Don't you even try this nonsense. Mike's dad is fine, opponent. He doesn't need Avenge. <laughs> oh, wow. This is, uh, this is Runicate, by the way, in case you guys didn't know. Hello, stream participants. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Looks like we made it. I'm just going to cast this guy out. Or <laughs> cast out. Dis I'm going to disdain. I'm going to stroke this gentleman disdainfully. Huh. Well. All right, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna go one, two, one. Okie dokie. One, two, three. And then we're gonna play this guy and this guy. And then we're getting there for five. And then we're gonna hope that. One, two, three. So we can get rid of this guy. Oh man, we're so close. We're so close. Alright, put you to one. 
If I had one more land, I can go Feet of Resistance to kill you. But we cannot. Okay. I'm here for it. All right, let's do it. Ooh, ooh, Rick. That's a yikes for me, dog. Okay, that guy's gonna come back. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, flip you, boy. Give that dude hexproof. And then you're dead to this guy anyway. Got him! Did we mortify something? We didn't mortify anything yet. Unfortunately, no mortifies were seen this day. God, I feel like Mardu Heartpierce is just so good because of all the... um. Uh, humana, 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 because of all of the morves. But realistically, I think we're fine. Ooh, Rick. Ooh. -wee. Yeah, that's. Oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, that, wait, that's Rick. So I wouldn't be saying Rick. I would just be saying, oh, jeez, Morty. I was in the other room, figured it was a coin flip. Yeah, it's true. You either you either you either did mortify something or you didn't mortify something. It really that's really what it comes down to. Oh, that's true. You might be saying Rick. There are multiple Ricks. There is a little of Ricks after all. I will keep this hand. <clears throat> Oof. Oh, that was a good hit. I'm a fan. Uh, that's enough, though. That's where I draw the line. I might chart a course and discard this 7-drop. <sighs> yeah, I'm probably going to do that. Maybe not. I just want to have things to do before turn 37. Okay, there's a lot of lands, so I'm probably just getting rid of Nomad Outpost here. Ooh-wee, Rick. Ooh-wee. Look at this guy. Okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands to four spells, like you do. Like you do. Come on, dragons. Okay, this is a lot of creatures. I have none. So you can understand my jealousy currently. Well, that guy's good. <clears throat> that lady? That lady's good. But, uh... It's, it's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be a bit... Oh, that's a yikes for me, dog. That is one yike. It seems less good at this juncture. One, two, three, four, five. Play this guy. So maybe we can gain some life next turn. Maybe not. Hard to say. They're probably just going to kill us. This game felt much worse. Yeah. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Apparently not having plays till turn five is not ideal.
Gentlemen, let's take the arc lighting out and bring in um, Stonehorn Dignitary. Big digs, as uh, as it were. I also don't hate Death Grasp here. Ooh wee. No beats. Thank you so much. Howdy, are you old turd burger? How's the weekend going? It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Vista here, I think. Everything else is. Thank you. Mean Mugger with the resub. Welcome back, Mean Mugger. It's been so long. So, so long. The meanest of muggers. Get in there. Oh yeah. This guy's just gonna straight murder you. This card is so hard to deal with. It feels like it's been so long. Boy, it sure does. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. Land. Please land. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. I love magic gathering. Oh, boy. <laughs> Nifty, Nifty Chris is just like, here's a shrimp cat. And I'm here for it. Uh, no blocks. You may do... You may do what you wish. You can do whatever you like. Three to bounce that guy? Okay. Land? No. No land at all. No land at all. Well, I'm at a point... I'm at a juncture in my life where... You know, crying out loud. Remember that time we lost because we didn't draw lands in the first game we didn't draw spells? How do you feel about Stuffy Doll, Blasphemous Act, and Tron lands in the same deck? I like it. I like it. Uh, still no blocks. Okay, well, at least somebody's hitting their things. Come on, lands. Oh, we hit an A land. So, you know. Live in the... Dr oh, you're going to do something at the end of the turn, huh? Prophetic Volt? Oh, well... That sure is a thing, isn't it? Actually, Stonehorn Dignitary seems pretty good here, right? Like, we just block this guy. S we're probably dead. I have a feeling we're dead. Ah. <sighs> You got Hollow Fountain. That's the second blue source, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's fascinating. Huh. All right. Okay. It's all right. It's okay. 
All right. I guess we'll take 10. Oh, that's fascinating. No, sir, I don't like it. I think we're dead. We're so dead, dude. We're not dead. Let's go to one whole life. Hollowed fountain. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, biscuits. One, two, three, four. This guy. Skip your combat phase. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Oh, geez, Rick. Can this guy get the job done? You got reach? No reach? Oh, boy. Are we doing this? Oh, my God. How did we do it? Oh, geez. Oh my god. Wow. Don't sleep on hypersonic dragon, guys. That's a real dude. That's a real... Wow, that's a real gentleman. This is like an honorary dragon, right? It seems good. Wow, that's insane. I want to go to the, I want to go to the next game, but it's not giving me an option. I can either draw a card or reel my hand. Oh, jeez. I may have let out a scream. <laughs> oh, why is why can't we go? Is this game over? What's happening right now? Do I just close it? Oh, it's going to be like, are you sure you want to concede? Oh. All right, well, that was weird. Oh, because I moved it. I think I moved it down because I wanted to see that hypersonic dragon. So that's my bad. Every time I beat Runicape, I feel bad. Because he's a sub and he gifted like a thousand subs. But then I feel worse if he beats me. So then I'm like, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? Plus, I feel like I've played Runicape like 14 times. Because he's always like, I'm going to sneak in there now that you're in the queue. Frank just beat me up and stole my cards that my grandpa bequeathed me as a child. Say goodbye to Exodia. This has to go on the soundboard, right? My grandpa gave me those cards. Runicape, good games as always, Moan Frere. Um, goodbye to Exodia. Yeah, but the quotes are hilarious. My grandpa gave me those cards. I do my cards. Those were the Exodia cards that my grandpa gave me. <laughs> my grandpa gave me those Exodia cards. Oh, this hand is terrible. I'm going to keep it, though, because it's called Lands. You know what I mean? You own me. There's nothing you can do. You own me. Could have made a safer bet. Wow, another land, huh? You spoil me, Magic Online. You spoil me. I'm gonna put that. Let's put that in the play tapped. Little tappy boy. I'm actually feeling pretty comfortable about charting a course here, guys. I think we can risk it. Oh, I'll just get rid of an island. Yeah, that'll do. That will do.
Yu-Gi-Oh! What is, what is TAS? What's, what's TAS stand for? Tell me. Tell me about TAS. Oh, interesting. Also, um, the abridged series? Is that worse? It feels like it'd be better because it's abridged, right? I wonder if we want to kill this. Actually, if we get if, if they get a hit and we can still arc lightning and kill both, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, DBZ abridges is, is Dragon Ball Z Kai, right? Oh wow, that's rude. That's just rude. No, it's not. Really? What's the difference? Oh boy. Well, we're definitely killing both of these because those are some threatening peeps. Team Four Star. I don't know what you're talking about right now. I feel like you're making stuff up. Kai is an official redub. DBZ abridged. But isn't Kai also shortened? Like, don't they take out all the bullshit, like, filler? Like, the, like when you have a fight between two characters and two, two of the episodes in between that fight are just literally them staring at each other? They took those two episodes out? Isn't that, isn't that what Kai is? Isn't Kai abridged, even if it's not the abridged version? Okay. So, yeah, we're good. Similar, but different. So, one, two, three. Manti boy. <clears throat> Gun attack. Get him. Hit you in the face with my mantis man. The best part about Thousand Winds is that it's not going to flip this mantis rider. We finally meet again for the first time playing two red spells in a row and thus you have summoned me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. DB Is DBZ a bridge to Bruder Kai? Interesting. I was enjoying Kai when I watched it, but I would love an even more condensed version. So if, if you guys recommend Abridged, I would I would for sure watch it. Thank you. Standard B, thank you so much for the resub. There is a sandwich place in town, daily specials, a la Bob's burgers. Yesterday was, I shit you not, the salami moment. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way. That's hilarious. Why did you should have taken a picture of that? Watch DBZ Kai abridge. They've cut its entire arcs in like 10 minutes. You're like, who's Frieza? And they're like, I don't know, but he just beat him. Wow, that's weird. They didn't really explain who that person was. Yeah, that's fine. What is this? Are you going to steal my dude? Wow, that's rude. You're being rude right now. Yeah, well, we're just taking five. I hope they don't have anything like that sacrifices a creature, because that would make me cry. I don't think there's a big enough... Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, dang it. One, two, three. All right, well, back on the drawing board. All I want to do is cast my 5-6 flyer and bounces. Well, I guess I don't really want to bounce this guy, but... Does John Cusack look as cool IRL? It was hard to see. Uh, we were 
kind of further back, but not like too far back. But um, <laughs> but I mean, he's also getting up there. He's like in his fifties now. He's no Lloyd Dobler anymore. I kind of just want to murder this thing. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't trust it. I never really have a lot going on. Oh, I guess I need a white man. Okay, I guess I need this one. All the morphs are really scary. Plus they have three, which isn't enough to like flip a lot of the killing morphs. Ooh, Grim Harrow Specs. Okay. Okay. I'm alright with the tithe the taker. Uh now that Paolo of CVCFB is he gonna join your team as one of the streamers? Yeah, me and Paolo are in talks right now. He's gonna move. Wow, really? They just conceded to a Mantis Rider? This is what I'm saying, man. Mantis Rider's busted. Like, Mantis Rider's like, oh, it's just, it's just a 3 3. What could possibly happen? But oh, it's gonna block my defenses so I can't race you. Uh, it's gonna attack every turn, including the one it comes into play. Deathgrasp seems like it should be in the main deck. I'm a big Deathgrasp fan. Brazilian Mike. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There's nothing you can do if you want me. Lucky you. Alright, so. Oh, alright. Two drop and a three drop? Mm hmm. This is the high quality content I've subscribed for. I don't think you've subscribed to yourself, Frank. Oh, boy. Maybe not, kind viewer. Maybe not. Wow, skin thinner face up, huh? Get out of town. Well, joke's on you, buddy. Florida and Brazil are basically right next to each other. Yeah. What's the... Uh, I guess I'll choose this one. Dang, that was good. That was really... That was really good. All mics are created equal, but some mics are more equal than others. This is my mic. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Oh. Stop killing my things. God. Cards like Moment of Craving and Debilitating Injury are so much stronger in this format because you have uh, infinite morphs. Okay, well, we're just going to kill this guy. i got to take a point to do that. I guess i got to take a point to do both. But this is more versatile, and we actually can't even use this now. So I guess more to fizzle it is. We also missed a land drop, which is unfortunate. Lemon Hugs, thank you so much for the, for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> well, as you have won a game playing red cards, my job here is done. I also have to get up at 5 a.m. and it's almost 11 p.m. here, so see you. By the way, thanks for the birthday, man. I even... Thanks for the birthday? Unless you comment on a video on YouTube. Ignored... 
I literally, I'm pretty sure I saw your comment, and I meant to, I meant to respond, and now I feel like a bad friend for not having responded. So biscuits. Anyway, Jenna, thank you so much for hanging out, buddy. Always appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. I'm sure I will find you on Facebook. I finally caught the stream. I always watch your YouTube channel. I was like, yes, about time I get the chance. So glad you could join in, buddy. all my creatures just keep dying game one is always real close or game one is always real like kind of a blowout game two is always uh, a blowout a reverse blowout and then game three uh, I'll get mana screwed but I'll have one threat that they can't deal with and I'll just win by the skin of my teeth so I'm gonna scoop here because we've missed three land drops and can't play our cards <laughs> Still has that new mic smell. Ooh. See, I kind of want this Mardu Heart Piercer, but like, are we really even attacking? Maybe. Probably. Like, you go over there, you two go over here, you go over here. Mm, take out big stubs, I guess. The problem with uh, Stubborn Denial is that they're probably killing tutus with it uh with with the, the spells we've seen they kill like tutus right small creatures so um they're usually doing it in the early game when we're not going to have enough mana to protect our creature or they're doing it in the late game and we're not going to have like if they're killing our small creatures with something we might not even have a big creature to make sure ferocious is turned on so all right well as predicted yeah, this is probably fine. One, two, three, four, five. We can get ship an island, I guess. Oh, Temple of M Malicio. Malicio del Toro. Uh, it's a three drop. Sure, why not? Yeah, their creatures aren't that hard to deal with. That is, that is a perk. Every time they play skin thinner face up, I'm always like, what? I'm tempted to actually just kill the skin thinner because they missed a land drop. It keeps us alive. We gain a point. And then we can just maybe hard cast this because we know they have both moment of craving and... Um, jeez. Like, are we blocking with this? What's our goal with this guy? We're probably not trading with Skin Thinner. We're probably not blocking Monastery Swift Spear, so. I also do want to kill the Swift Spear with the Death Grasp instead, so maybe we'll do that next turn. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. Ain't nobody surprised by this. So I guess we'll take four, but they're missing a land drop, so... Maybe we can draw like a butcher. Ojutai. Ojutai. Black, white, two. Done. Theoretically, we could have killed this guy. It's a better clock for uh, for them, but this is just a stronger creature. So.
Well, Sage of the Inward Eye goes away now. Well, we can cast most things we draw, which is great. But we don't have much going on. Still don't. So we're going to get another blue. We have two black, we have two white, we have two red. We'll get a second blue source. God, if we die to this one skin thinner, dude. stuck on two lands we could they couldn't do anything we're just getting a little bit so we take six now we go to five then we get to play an ojitai and hope it's enough One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Eight lands, four spells. Second time that's happened in this in this single event. So Yeah, I'm sure there's nothing they can do against the Ojitai. Runa Cape, I'm, I think we're at a point where you don't even need this, uh, these Kappas anymore. I feel like everything you say is basically kappa Yep, yeah, go to four. Get our last... Wow, that was the last land we could have gotten. Jeez. Alright, well, we're just going to play this. Because... Reasons... This is where they untap, play Jeering Instigator, steal our Dojitai, and kill us, right? Or they just kill us before we even untap. They're just going to murder it. Yep. Oh, they're going to do something. Yep, cool. That was a fun game. I had a good time. I felt like I was really engaged. I felt like I was able to uh, make strategic plays that put me in uh, advantageous positions. Uh, I felt like at no point was I solely restricted to the cards in my hand and I, I uh, was able to make multiple decisions. So, you know, lots of, lots of good, solid, solid uh, strategic gameplay. I'm glad you felt that way. Me too, man. Me too. At no point was I sitting there watching my opponent play Magic while I played the two or three cards that I drew in the entire game and watched them get dealt with. I certainly did not feel like that. Ooh, that's going to be good. Maybe. So what are we getting here? Uh, red source, I would imagine. Okay, well. That is unfortunate. That's pretty good. Oh boy. 
Like, we have a lot of things that we can do before turn two. We just don't draw any of them before turn three, I guess. Yeah, please don't deal two damage to the one one. That would be great if you could do that for me. Have you tried unplugging the deck and plugging it back in? Not yet. <sighs> oh, untapped Blood Crypt. Interesting. Yep, taken three. Okay, so white, red, blue, green. Yep. Birdie! Bird City! Take me down to the bird city. Don't kill my bird. They're gonna flip this skin thinner and then kill it. Okay, that's actually fine, I guess. Well, it's not great. We take seven here. Eight, actually. And they draw two cards, huh? And you're gonna kill this guy? Oh. That's fascinating. Well, they draw one card. Um, I think it's actually worth it to just block here. I don't love it, but I think our chances are better if we just take the five and then cast this guy out Whenever it attacks for a token, that's another target attacking creature. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Whenever it attacks for a token, it's got another target. Flecking whatever. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, boy. I guess we're going to three and there. No, this is, not a, this is not a warrior, so I'm not really super concerned with. Your con count's definitely off. Got him. Got him. Suck on them eggs. Mm -hmm. 
You know I'm self-conscious of my con count. I did know that, and it was actually rude of me to exploit that. I'm sorry, Chris. Get him. I guess we're going to three. Totally healthy life total to just sit at. Okay, that's a good dude. Turn around and say good morning to the night. But they can't deny his one. I have a, a song by Elton John called Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's stuck in my head. It's a very good song. <laughs> well, their guy had menace anyway, so that's actually a fine use of that. Are you becoming a night owl? Dude, I've been a night owl my whole life. I don't go to bed till like 5, 6 a.m. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cast you. I mean, if we can untap with this, with this guy, I think it's good. They have one card. Don't be a jeering instigator. Don't be a skin thinner. Don't be anything. Just be a shitty morph. Say goodbye to Exodia. Huh. Well, we have to block, right? Yeah, where were you? <clears throat> Bring in the death grasp. Take out the actually sanctifier seems good here. Take out the, the stubs. Let's hold up here. Let's get the let's get a move on. Okay, we did it. Sure. Well, it's Jeskai with a little with a little touch of black. We've actually, despite having a good amount of what I feel like is removal, uh, we've actually been a little slow. Oh yeah, 
we're definitely killing that thing on the spot. I'm pretty sure if we draw marsh slots, we have no targets anymore. We have the Hollowed Fountain, the Sacred Foundry, and the Swamp. I think we have one planes that we can get if we hit a marsh flats. Steven, thanks for Teresa, buddy. 730 chicken Sundays. 730 chicken Sundays? I think it's time to bust into that kitchen and say, Mom, I know you're in here with the onions and watching Frank is not a phase. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. That's a solid strategy. It's not a phase, Mom. All right, we'll take three. And then we'll, we'll hypersonic dragon. That is a lot of references to unpack. You're right. That's like a... Hmm. That's obnoxious. That is so obnoxious. Well, we're not attacking into the 4-1, that becomes a 2-2, two -two. the thing can just flip up and do some things to us. I think we're just dead. Unfortunately, this draft did not go nearly as well as I would have liked it to. But such is life, ladies and gentlemen. Such is life. Life is just a series of drafts that don't go the way you want them to. Black, 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 gets all black sources, red, red, red white 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 blue blue we'll just get a, a sweet sweet island next time we can play ojitai it's not terrible right The problem is four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Like if we actually, if they just have an answer for Ojitai, we're dead. But alternatively, we can drain for four. Go to fifteen. It takes seven. Go to. We go to nine, we block here, we take six, we go to three. That seems risky. This feels better. All right, so now we go to eight. We get to play Ojitai. And if we draw something, we can play Butcher and something else. That's, that that does fulfill the criteria. So we need a black, a red, two red, a blue, and two white.
What does it cost? Six to unmorph? Yikes. This card's hard to deal with, too. Yeah. To the surprise of no one. <laughs> Alright, well, they have two cards. We can easily block this, go to four. Getting Utter End and Path out of their hand is nice if we're going to try to land this 6-6. Six, six. have no desire to play Marsh Flats here. If we draw, like, Chart of Course, I'd rather be able to cast that, but I'm sure we're just dead, so. I see. So we just block here, we take two, and then they kill us with Ash Cloud Phoenix. Or they just play Aftermath, kill this, sure. Yep, one, two. Not ideal. I thought our deck was sweet, but apparently it was not that sweet at all. And uh, we just lose to a bunch of dirtily small creatures and removal spells, so... Either way, you win some, you lose some. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com. You can find links and promo codes in the description below. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate the support. Slam the like and subscribe buttons again. Keep hitting them. And I'll see you next time.